The past decade has seen the rise of Nam Pham Science and Technology City, Deep Sea Science and Technology City, and Aerospace Science and Technology City. How does Hainan explore the space and sea? On July 24, 2022, at Wenchang Space Launch Site, Hainan Province, the Long March 5B remote carrier rocket will carry the Wentian lab module to the vast space for rendezvous and docking with the space station assembly in orbit. China's space station includes Tianhe core module, Wentian lab module, and Mengtian lab module. Wentian lab module is the second module and the first scientific experiment module. It is the largest and heaviest spacecraft in China so far. As a low-latitude coastal launch site, the only one in China and rarely seen elsewhere, Wangchang Space Launch Site, thanks to the large linear velocity close to the equator, has greatly cut rocket fuel consumption. At 8.30 on November 28, 2020, with the sound of a whistle, Striver, a record setter of 10,909 meters of manned deep sea exploration, completed the second stage of trial and successfully returned to Nansan port in Sanya with the joint efforts of Sanya City and Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Deep Sea Science and Engineering set up a complete deep sea research base in Sanya and started a new journey of deep sea scientific investigation. The success of the sea trial of Striver signifies China's ability to enter the deepest part of the world ocean and conduct scientific exploration and research. 分路者的话，它的主要挑战是深度和作业的能力。有了这个基础以后，我们会在不同的作业场景去进行拓展，让载人申请的技术服务于不同的领域。我相信的话，我们现在呃载人申请的技术有能力、有信心去解决不同的深
Sanya City is building the Nan Fan Science and Technology City and the global introduction and transfer base for animal and plant germplasm resources, which will accommodate and support the technological core of Nan Fan Silicon Valley. Every year from November to May, about 7,000 agricultural experts from more than 800 research institutes, universities and enterprises in China gather in Hainan and work intensely on breeding. Generations of agricultural researchers are in this relay race to pave the way for securing food supplies for Chinese. For 10 years, tens of thousands of scientific and technical personnel from more than 700 institutions of 29 provinces come to Hainan every year for breeding seeds. Over 20,000 new varieties of major crops are nurtured through Nan Fan's generation adding breeding, accounting for over 70% of the new varieties bred in China. Ya Jiao Bay Seed Laboratory and the global introduction and transfer base for animal and plant germplasm resources provide strong support for Nan Fan scientific research. Here, business models are innovated, new market players are introduced to build seed industry. For 10 years, Hainan has been deepening its blue economy to contribute to China's maritime strength. The world's oil and gas are in the ocean. And the marine oil and gas are in the deep sea. Lingxue, 172 gas field, located in Lingxue Sea area, southeast of Hainan Island is the first 1,500-meter self-operated deep-water gas field in China. We use about 40 years of time to make the sea and the sea to make the sea. But we use the sea and the sea to make 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 on June 25, 2021, the world's first 100,000 ton deep water semi submersible oil production and storage platform, Deep Sea No. 1 Energy Station, was officially put into operation in Hainan, marking a new stage in China's offshore oil and gas exploration and development. Lingxue 172 Gas Field Development Project is the first deep sea oil and gas project independently designed, constructed and installed by China, making it an important milestone in the development history of China's deep sea engineering. Relying on the artery of offshore natural gas pipeline network, Ling Shui 172 gas field can supply 3 billion cubic meters of natural gas to Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Hainan every year, which can meet one quarter of the demand in Greater Bay Area. In Highway Town, Changjiang Li, Autonomous County, in West Hainan Island. The second phase of Changqiang Nuclear Power Station, Hainan No. 1 Energy Project, is in full swing. The second phase of Changqiang Nuclear Power Plant is among the first batch of projects approved during the 14th five-year plan period. The project started in March 2021 and includes two Hualong No. 1 nuclear power units with homegrown technology by CNNC, 
each unit has a capacity of 1.2 million kilowatts, with a total investment of about 36.85 billion yuan. The construction is expected to take 60 months. After completion, the nuclear power plant can supply 18 billion kilowatts of clean electricity to Hainan every year, equaling to saving 5.5 million tons of standard coal and 13 million tons of carbon dioxide. It has a positive and far-reaching impact on optimizing Hainan's energy structure and achieving carbon peaking and neutralization. On November 7, 2015, the first unit of Changtiang nuclear power plant was put into service. As of January 4, 2022, the grid-connected power generation of the two units had exceeded 50.6 billion kilowatt hours, equaling to saving 40 million tons of carbon dioxide and over 15 million tons of standard coal. It supplies 30% of the unified power generation in Hainan annually. Since then, Hainan province is the largest contributor of nuclear power in China, greatly alleviating the long-term local power shortage and serving as a green nuclear energy engine for Hainan Free Trade Port and National Ecological Civilization Demonstration Zone. Give full play to safe, clean and efficient nuclear power. Support clean energy transformation. Build it into a clean energy island. Protect the green mountains and lucid waters. All these are of great significance for Hainan Free Trade Port. The construction of Hainan Free Trade Port is in full swing. Nan Fan seeding, deep sea and aerospace. Future industries by land, sea and air are speeding up. More and more major projects are landing in Hainan. Hainan is making continuous efforts to build a free trade port with Chinese characteristics and global influence.